after a relaxing week in Paris and back at the airport. On my way to Saint Jean Pied du Port. Now, in order to get there, I need to take a quick flight to Biarritz. A taxi to a train station. Good news, I made it to the train station, but four hours early. And the bad news is that I need to use the restroom, but it's under maintenance right now. I'm in the small town of uh, Biarritz. I gotta take the train to Bayonne where I have a one hour layover and then switch to a bus that will take me to uh, Saint Jean Pied de Port. Perfect timing. I got the train ticket and here's a train. Next up, Bayonne. Made it to Bayonne. I've got an hour to kill in this little town before the bus ride to our final destination. I give you Saint Marie Beyond Cathedral. Beyond is giving me a taste of what's to come. Great places, great food, great history. So what do you think, you like that? That was a quick tour of the center of town. I wish I could show you more, but I got a bus to catch. Actually, that one right there, waiting for me. Once you make it to town, the first thing that you need to get yourself is a, a hostel, a bergue, a hotel, whatever you can get your hands on so you can spend the night. The second thing that you should get is one of these. It's a booklet that you're going to carry throughout the entire trip. Everywhere you go, it's going to get stamped. I got my first stamp here. By the time I finish the trip, all these pages should be filled. That's my bed as you can see. There are other people in here. Now check out the view from the balcony. I don't know if you noticed, but these shells are everywhere. Now it is said that it cannot be sold, that it needs to be given to you by a fellow pilgrim. Of course you can find them at the gift shop. I'm walking through what seems to be the perimeter or the wall of the old town. Kind of medieval looking, if you ask me. Check out the view. This over here is my albergue. And this little tiny window, that's my room. I'm debating here whether to take uh, water with me in the morning to fill up the camelback. I mean, water weights a lot. It's about eight pounds per, per gallon. I think I can make it to the next town, which should be around a two hour walk in the morning in a cold breeze. I don't know, what do you think? And as the sun sets, so this day comes to an end. It was a day of travel, of getting to this beautiful town. But tomorrow, tomorrow is when the adventure really begins. Tomorrow I'm waking up at six in the morning, looking forward to a 30 kilometer walk. <laughs> See you then.